Hey everyone, I am Rishav and in today's video, I will be talking about GSOC 2022. Now there are a lot of changes that have came in GSOC program. Uh, the interface from where you apply to GSOC that has also been changed. Uh, and I would also show you that how you can apply for GSOC uh, 2022 program, how to filter all the things and how you can uh, start from today, uh, like how to contribute to open source. If you do, then it would be great because uh, if you have some uh, previous pull I means previous uh, working with that organizations that then it is like easy for you also to get uh, selected for GSOC in that organization like if you are working with that organization like say one month before and you are like uh, having uh, putting pull request uh, organization github uh, then uh, there is high chance that uh, mostly you would get selected in the gsoc program when it is launched if the organization uh, stays there so i would uh, show you the whole thing that how you can apply like from beginning uh, how to find your organizations how to connect with uh, like where they communicate where they talk like the organizations uh, mentors and how to get in contact with all of them so that uh, there is there will be a high chance that uh, you would get selected in the gsoc program right so let's get started without wasting any time so if you have you are liking this video then hit the like button subscribe my channel share it to your friends and click on the bell notification so that you can get the latest from my side right so let's begin without wasting any time so the first thing that uh, you have to do here is uh, open any of your browsers like i have opened my chrome and uh, then you can simply search for gsoc 2022 now once you have searched here you will see the google summer of code home page right so the official one summer of code dot go with google.com this one is the official one so you must go for this one only click on this one now it will uh, you will see that it has opened this one uh, this is the official page okay and you can see that uh, 2022 program announced now you can uh, check the timeline like from where it is going to start uh, then till when it will work and uh, what are the projects timeline and all the things that you can see like when the organization will be declared when you can start actually so all the things will be written here in the timeline so let me show you that thing first so if i click on view timeline so you will see uh, there is a documentation created by google where all the timeline details are simply given out right so let me uh, show you this one so google of summer of code 2022 timeline right so it is starting from february 7 but not for us it is for mentoring organizations like the organization that are going to participate in this gsoc 2022 program so they will be applying on february 7th which is soon then uh, by february 21st uh, mentoring org organization applications deadline is there like after 21st february the organization can't take part the application deadline is that time then by march 6th okay then by march 6th uh, google program administrative will review the application of the organizations not your ones right and then by march uh, 7th uh, it would provide the list of accepted organization published now this would be a time from where your journey is going to start right so from march 7th you have to keep a keen eye on this organizations of gsoc 2022 because after when the organizations are declared what you have to do is you have to find out all the organizations like uh, who were being selected then you will see potential gsoc contributor discuss application ideas mentoring organizations right so then by april 4 gsoc contributor application periods begin from march 7 you would see all the organizations that are taking part now that is the checkpoint where you will check that if you know that organizations with whom you are previously contributing or not in open source so that you have to check very clearly like uh, are there some organizations with whom you were previously working with in open source but uh, they are selected or not if they are not selected then you have to do like find the organizations that are selected on the particular domain like it can be android it can be web anything find that uh, find organizations like new or organizations if your previous one is not selected and after that uh, go and start contributing to that particular organization with whom you are selecting or you are opting for like yeah this would be great for going with 
so what you have to do is uh, find the organization uh, after march 7th there will be listed all the organizations of 2022 and start contributing to them previously not on the gsoc project contribute to the other projects or the android project in which uh, it would show up the projects on gsoc 2022 or uh, it might not be a project but start contributing to some part of that organization so that they can also know that yes you can do and you are a contributor right so you can start the open source journey from this march 7th of 2022 right and uh, on april 4 uh, your application time will begin like all the list of the projects and all will be uh, shown up on the uh, 2022 program uh, organizations that would be selected they will list up all the project list and you have to select project and you have to create a documentation of the project like how you can apply to that uh, uh, project what is your approach what you think about that and how you can successfully do that one right so you would almost get a one month time like from march 7 to april 4 uh, to uh, find your organization and to start contributing to them right so you will have almost one month of time so you can easily find out organizations and you can start with them right M- on beforehand so that you can uh, get a good uh, benefit during application time so on 19th the application contributors deadline so this is a very clear date that on 19th of april our application would be closed like you can't apply after 19th of april right so remember this date that your date would be end at 19th now after 19th then the next date is may 12th on may 12th the contributor slots uh, request uh, due from organizations admins so that would be declared on may 12th and on may 20 the accepted gsoc contributor projects will be announced right so you will see the active uh, means the on 20th of uh, may you would be like uh, getting to know that who are being selected for the gsoc program and who are eligible right so that would be like announced with the projects that uh, which have been selected on may 20th uh, community bonding gsoc contributors get to know about mentors read documentation and all the things will happen like that is a later part once you go into the gsoc so that would be a smooth process after uh, 20th of june like you would be knowing the your mentor you would have a contact with him you would know projects what you will do how you will work all the things will be a smooth process after 20th of may so till 20th of may you are having a crucial time which is going to start right if you are opting for gsoc this year 2022 so after that thing all the uh, programs are there like i am not going to tell this one so but uh, how you can check from now that what are the organizations who were previously uh, being a gsoc part and what are the projects how to find good organization so let's start right so first uh, click on this hamburger icon and here you will see past programs so click on the past programs and once you click on this one you will see the different list of programs that were started from 2021 means uh, till 2016 so in 2021 program if you want to check 2021 or 2022 I means 2020 uh, you can go for any of them so let me show you 2021 program right so there were uh, 1203 projects with uh, 202 open source organizations right so let's click on this uh, program and you would come into 2021 organization list like uh, you can scroll this one and you can see that uh, there are organizations uh, like uh, 52 north about code accord projects Uh, then Ankydroid, Asios, uh, Audacity, Blender, and all the proj means organizations are listed here, right? So how you can also filter this thing? Simply like you can opt for data, you can opt for development tools, and here this list will be filtered. Science and medicine, you can see this one are on comes under the science and medicines. Then uh, social communication, these are the things. Then web. Uh, you can filter anything right and you can also also you can search from this tab also like without filtering like if you are checking for web uh, projects so you can type simply here web and you would see all the uh, organizations that have project based on their web means web applications or you can say web development related projects okay so you can see all of them like uh, zoomla chromium circuit virus opia wiki and all of them are here right also you can search for android you can simply search for android 
and you would see anki droid digital mart uh, catrobat and all these things the interface is quite changed like previously it has a different interface for gsoc but it has updated right so many of you might uh, face problems so i thought of making this video so that it would be helpful for you all guys right so let me show you that how you can uh, like uh, start your contribution from today onwards like how to find uh, the organization mentors how to uh, connect with the community like where the community work of the open source right so uh, let me show you for anki droid itself so anki droid uh, if you click on anki droid you would uh, see all the things like uh, makes remembering things easy memorize anything with anki droid like this is the details about the organizations like what the organizations do if you want to see the projects like what they have in 2021 you can click on this view projects show all the project list right like those who have worked in 2021 with these organizations and what are the projects uh, being performing right so you can see siddharth goel who worked on android development so you can also like uh, click on view project details so it would open up the project details like what he did so uh, siddharth goel make onboarding for new users so he implemented this feature then loading and uploading shared decks in app kotlin migration and others right and you can also like click on view code so it would take you to the uh, github of uh, anki droid right so you can see that github of anki droid what he did and all the things so yeah uh, coming back anki droid again so you can see also view idea list so if you click on view idea list uh, it will open all the idea list uh, that anki droid has been proposed for gsoc so you can scroll it here anki droid is a free android flashcard app which makes remembering thing easy it is a space and all the things are here you can check this out easily like if you want then uh, there are some examples learning a language studying for medicine and law and these are the things so you can see projects updated on github so from here if you click this one you can go to anki droid gsoc uh, page and then projects are there right so like uh, now here are the projects so first is uh, upload loading uploading shared decks uh, then visual editor then cv import right then uh, one more thing you can see that there is the onboarding one right now in this onboarding this helps user to introduce to the app and all these things like what are the required things are here like experience with java android ui using xml now if you know these things you can simply apply to this organization for this particular project right so like these are the things that you have to see like uh, which organizations uh like what are their project ideas they are providing for 2021 so that uh, they will be providing like almost same type of things in 2022 right so based on the same things so from now onwards you can if you want to contribute to anki droid right so they are open source you can start your contribution from now on don't wait for gsoc so for that what you have to do is like uh, check out their github page now how to check their github page uh, you can see projects updated on github you can uh, click on this github link so that it would take you to the anki droid gsoc one right now this is the gsoc proposals and all those things you can uh, go from here also but uh, now to check the anki droid app like in which they had worked like siddhar goel and others so to do that simply click on this anki droid and here you will see all the projects or repositories so here from repositories you can click on anki droid uh, android anki android so this is the android app basically uh, so now from here also uh, there are different things like you can see the what is the app about uh, you can uh, fork this app uh, like there is 1.5k fork on this particular branch so you can fork and you can start contributing from now onwards right and uh, to connect with them like if you want to connect with the community members of this anki droid like who are working so now what you can do is like scroll it so you can see there is a join us option so here you can see that anki android then there are the different features that they are providing what are the features and where their apps are available like on google play uh, app gallery and other things then also you can see that contribute uh, to this anki wiki like to start contributing you can uh, come here and see then for joining like the joining their community what you can do is there are different things like facebook twitter reddit and discord so like if you want to communicate you can click on this discord so it would take you to anki droid uh, discord 
and from here you can uh, click on accept invite and you can join with them and you can see like how things are working what are they are doing and you can start contributing talking to the mentor and all the things you can do from here only like for any of the organizations to find a good fit issue you can come in the issues tab then uh, you can see like good fit issue at the end of the time box don't play a video so th these are the things that uh, they are here like you can work on this issue you can make pull request so uh, the contributors will know or the mentor who will be the mentor of gsoc 2022 will know that yes you are contributing right to this organization previously so that it would be a uh, it would be a plus point for you to uh, if you are applying for this organization like if if this organization gets selected it would be a plus point for you right so start contributing from uh, now onwards only so it would be better find your organizations like if you are on web if you are on machine learning go to the organizations and find out them and try to do it from now and the date is already told to you the whole timeline uh, check the date like when uh, it were uh, the organizations will open up the final selected organization will open up and uh, work accordingly and do things and uh, like yeah so that is the process like how you can apply for gsoc 2022 so till now if you have liked this video subscribe to my channel share it with your friends like who are opting for uh, gsoc 2022 like who are aiming for gsoc 2022 click on the bell notification and i would and i would see you in the next video till then bye bye have a great day